What is going on Shady People? Shady Penguin here bringing you the very first episode to my Pokemon Black Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. You see HeartGold broke uh, on episode 2 which is so frustrating. I really hope nothing happens to this game. We're going to start a new series because I don't want to not be uploading. Please leave this video a like rating so we can expose. Let's try and crush, I don't know, let's just try and crush 20 likes again for the first episode. That would be so awesome. Um. We're starting a new series. It is going to be a randomizer Nuzlocke. This ROM is randomized, which means all the Pokemon I encounter are not the normal Pokemon that would be there. Even the starter Pokemon are different. And trainers will have random Pokemon, except I made it so that the, they will have random Pokemon, but it will be typed to what they previously had. So if they had a Rattata, they might have like another normal type, like a Lickitung or something. But uh, without any further ado, we are going to get started. This is also a Nuzlocke challenge. I'm not going to read what the professor says. I'm just going to go over what a Nuzlocke is for those that don't know. A Nuzlocke is a um, hard mode of Pokemon, and it contains three rules. These three rules are as follows. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter per new area. That's rule number one. Um, rule number two, you must nickname said Pokemon that you catch. And rule number three, when a Pokemon faints, it dies and can never be used again. It is either boxed forever or released. Those are the three rules that make Pokemon games a little more challenging, and that is a Nuzlocke run. So, with that said, I will be naming myself Shady P, as I always do, and then Professor's going to introduce me to my two best friends, and that is Sharon and Bianca. It is winter. It is a beautiful time of year. We are going to get started. Professor Juniper is just going to drop off a little gift for us, which is a box that contains three random Pokemon for me and my two best friends forever. So, very excited to get started with the Let's Play. Still a little disappointed, but I'm hoping that this Let's Play gets as much attention and um, draws as much excitement as HeartGold was. Please be sure if you want to be nicknamed after a Pokemon, just leave a comment below. I will, of course, incorporate you guys into this Let's Play. So let's see what these random Pokemon are. We have a Hoppip. Flaffy, another another Flaffy, and a Monferno. Oh man. Um, seeing how fire Pokemon are so hard for me to get, I am gonna start with Monferno. Without a doubt, Monferno will be my starting Pokemon, and uh, they will actually have completely random Pokemon. Sharon and Bianca, not even the ones that we saw. It'll just be completely random, and we have to battle them right now. So Bianca wants to go, um, and let's see what she's got. She's got a Lily. Jeez, and I have a Monferno. Its moves are Ember, Scratch, and Leer. So let's go straight for Ember. Uh, because that's pretty much the best thing we can do here. Um, no point in going for Leer. Yes, we got that Burn Off, which is awesome. This Monferno's already putting in work. Simple battle. Monferno's going to gain two levels right here because that's what happens when you battle level five. I'm sp I don't know why. I mean, I guess just because it's 100 some odd uh, experience. Normally, you only get around 50 something experience when you battle your rival. But now, we get to battle Sharon, and we will see what Sharon received from Professor Juniper. Sharon has received an Ammonite. That could be quite troublesome. Let's go for Scratch. Let's see how much Scratch does. does. Oh my gosh, guys. Guys, I don't want to hear this. I think I'm just gonna, let me see how much Ember does. They're both, so now at least I'll get stabbed. Can I get a burn? Now you're raising your defense, so there goes my thoughts of going for Leer. But uh, let's see, it looks like you only have Constrict and um, Harden, so that's pretty good for me because I will have no problem taking this Ammonite out. And by Harden, I mean withdraw, obviously. Um, regardless, you're raising your defense, and that's the important part of what I am trying to convey to the people watching. We're just gonna spam Ember, spam the heck out of Ember, because this Ammonite stands no chance. There we go, Monferno's already level 8. Bada bing, bada boom! I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. Oh, I better come too. So now they're going to Professor Juniper to thank her, I believe. We, oh no, actually to apologize to my mother. Because they made a, we made a mess out of that room. A complete mess. And then my mom's going to be like, oh, Shady P. Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries from down here. Hmm, that sure reminded me of my first Pokemon battle. Yeah, I don't think you ever battled, Mom. I think you're full of crap. You don't even, you don't even know what a Pokeball is. Alright, so we got the X-Trans receiver, which is a lot of fun. Look at, the, look at those pit-ups just flying away. Oh, oh no. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All right. So let's go talk to Sharon. See what Sharon's about. I'm sorry, but could you go to Bianca's house? All right. So I have to go to Bianca's house because she's totally fishy. And this is Sharon's house. And I'm assuming this is Bianca's house. No, no. A thousand times no. But I'm a good trainer. I got a Pokemon and everything. I could totally go on an adventure. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab. So his, her dad does not want her going on an adventure. See... 
that's like the first time that a parent has been like semi-responsible in the Pokemon world and said, you know what, you're like 13, however old they are in this game, 13 years old, 16 years old, whatever. You shouldn't be going on an adventure unless you're a full-grown adult. You need to be 18 freaking years old. Ah, <sighs> now the professor's been waiting for us. My name is Professor Juniper. We know your name yet, we really do. Let's just, let's just, come on. We don't, we don't want to hear the professor talk. And, but I do want to nickname my Inferno. It's a female. I didn't even realize that. Oh, man. You're a girl. You're a girl. All right, you know, well, in honor. <clears throat> in honor of Heartgold, we're going to call this primate Molly as well. Because Molly did not get a fair shake. Because since Heartgold kind of broke. So Molly is my monkey's name. Molly the monkey. I like it. Even though she's an ape. I don't know what the difference is, to be completely honest with you. They want, she wants me to fill up the Pokedex, she just doesn't understand that I'm doing a Nuzlocke run, and there's no chance, no chance of me filling up this Pokedex. Bianca, hey, Shady B, wait up! Oh, there you are, and what did the professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex, I can't believe it! I'm <laughs> just kidding, I already knew she was gonna ask. So now I got the town map, and like I said previously, I love how it's called a town map when it's of the entire region. And in some cases, like the game we should be playing right now, multiple regions. Well, actually, you have to get an add-on to get the uh, Kanto region map, but that's neither here nor there. What we get to do right now, I don't think I don't think we got any Pokeballs, but we're going to all take our first step together. This is so cute. We're all going to take our first step together. Woo, it's Route 1. How exciting. Uh, now, Professor Juniper is going to show us how to catch a Pokemon. It's a Pat Rat, or Pat Rat, however you want to say it. Some people get really anal about how you say names. Meanwhile, it's just how you want to pronounce it. There's no right or wrong way. I mean, unless you're calling that thing like cheese knit when it's clearly Pat Rat. If you call it Patrat, Pat Rat, whatever, it doesn't matter. So shut up and let's keep going with this. So we got some Pokeballs, which is awesome because we get to catch our first Pokemon right here on Route 1. But we need to get going. Imagine if you were going to keep the professor waiting. Actually, sounds interesting. I'll fill up the P Pokedex pages. I can't fill up the Pokedex pages like you can, guys. This is our first Pokemon encounter. It is a nine. You gotta be kidding me. Of course, the only reason why I ran into a Ninetales is because I said it's difficult for me to run at the Fire Pokemon. We're going to use Scratch, hope that we don't kill it, because I'd still like to catch it regardless of the fact that it's another Fire type. Let's use one of our five Pokeballs to catch this bad girl. But I can already tell you right now, all right, let's try and use Ember and weaken it a little bit more. Don't kill it though. Oh, it has Flash Fire. Oh no. Now it's Ember's still going to do one. All right, so we literally might not even be able to catch this Pokemon. Let's see. One. Just one shake. One shake. Of course one shake. Now it's got a Mystical Veil. It's going to be even harder to catch. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. Yes! All right, we got the Ninetales. Female Ninetales. She's beautiful. I'm just calling her Beauty Queen because I might even just use this um, Pokemon because seriously... In my other two, well, in my Emerald, I don't think Beauty Queen will fit. How about Beauty? How about just Beauty? You're just straight up Beauty. All right, sweet. So, it means that I should capture, yes, it does mean I should capture Pokemon. It's kind of frustrating that it's a fire type. Let's see what else we run into over here. Well, I guess I would have rather caught a Ninetales than a Paris. Like, so I guess I can't complain, really. I mean, this might end up just being a mono fire run at this rate. Oh, a Glaceon. That would have been absolutely incredible to catch. Absolutely incredible. But you know what? Let's be honest. This wouldn't be a Shady Penguin run if I didn't have awful luck. So I don't know. I didn't really want to use Scratch. I got a critical hit though. So we'll use Scratch again. Why the heck not? It's got 35 PP. I have Molly will level up. Molly's Molly learned Taunt. So Molly can be a champion. Are you going to compare yourself with Bianca? How was it, Shady P? Let's see who caught the most. I only caught two. Must be nice to catch three. Bragging. How's everyone doing? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now. Oh, Professor, right now I'm in front of Accumula's ta Acu Acumula Town's Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry, hurry up, everyone. My English is slacking so much, probably because of all the times I attempted to record Pokemon Heart Gold. I seriously went through so many glitches, but we're done with that. We're not talking about that anymore. That's in the past. We're going to talk about the here and now, the present, not the future, not the past, the present. Oh, come on. All right, I'll heal my Pokemon. I would like to heal them. I would like to heal my Ninetales and my Molly, my beauty and my Molly. 
So I can store new Pokemon, but I don't have any Pokemon to store right now. I just, I love like, I love starting a run and you have to go through all the tutorial bullcrap about where stuff is. We all know where that stuff is. If you don't, you're learning right now, even though I'm not really talking about it. I would like to buy some Pokeballs. I'd like to buy 10 of them, please. And I'd also like to buy, I get a Premier Ball, because Premier Balls are amazing and that's why I buy 10. We're also gonna buy five potions and bring ourselves down to poor status. And we're gonna head out. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. That's right, this game has like a huge, huge intro to the story and everything. Oh, this guy. My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? You know what, guys? He's kind of got a point. Like, I don't know. We just assume that Pokemon like being trapped in little Pokeballs and thrown around and battling each other. But realistically, we're just enslaving these creatures. I, I, I personally believe it gets us. I mean, I don't want to change it. I think it's freaking awesome. But he does have kind of a point there. Kind of a little point. Uh-oh, your Pokemon just now was saying, Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is Shady P. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? Bang on your desk, please. So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I am a trainer, too, but I can't help but wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Shady P, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. So now we have to battle N. Who sends out a freaking Entei. Alright, this this game is just full of fire types. This game is full of freaking fire types. Um, we're gonna use Scratch. Because we can't... Oh my gosh. I'm probably... I'm not gonna lose this battle. But I'm gonna use Leer. I'm gonna use Leer like a champion. Because he's probably gonna get a D-drop at some point with Bite. Why can't I start off with an Entei? And starts off with an Entei? You gotta be kidding me. He got a critical hit. We're gonna go for another Scratch. He's gonna go for a Bite. And we're gonna finish him off with this Scratch. Boom. I'm just kidding. He can't get a D-drop from Bite. So don't get all crazy on it. Oh, Molly's already level 11. This is ridiculous, Molly. You need to slow down. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for my Pokemon. For Pokemon, I should say. Because they're my friends. Huh, strange guy. I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town. Striation gym leader. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge gym leaders in each area. So let's run. Let's heal up right now. We will heal up our Pokemon. And like I was going to do in Pokemon Heart Gold, training montages will be at the end of... Um, ooh, Beauty has an item. Let's check it out. Summary. Proud of its power. It's modest nature. Wow. Pretty good. And its hold item, I missed it, is a Rossberry. We're going to switch Molly and Beauty. Because I honestly, I might just end up using both of them. Because why the heck not? I never get to use fire types. Now I'm using many fire types. And guys, I'm realizing now as I'm playing this game, I may have never played this game completely. Which is going to get really interesting. Because uh, you guys are going to be like, you idiot, this is what you're supposed to do now. I'm going to be like, yo, I'm freaking clueless. So let's just check out some areas. This girl's playing a piano. I really didn't want to listen to your music. You play your drums too. Play them. Play them. You guys hear that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's enough of that. But now they're now they're playing, and the drums are going crazy. So let's go on to a new route, because I don't think there's anything else to do in that town. If there is, please leave a comment below. If you click that like button, that thumbs up button right below my shady penguin picture. This series, I want it to be just as popular as Heartgold was. Heartgold got like 30 something likes right in the first episode. But this is route two now, guys. Oh my gosh, the X transceiver is ringing. Shady P, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you. So I called, but I'm going to hang up the transceiver now. Shady P, I finally caught up with you and look how far you've come already. Now I get the running shoes. Now I can run places. Now. 
Now I can run places. Sorry, I just got a tweet on my phone in like a different language, so I was just curious. Just found a potion, and we're gonna see what our next team member is. Right now. Are you kidding me? A little pup? Really? This is a randomizer. No one wants to see this crap. Use, use Ember. Don't you die, beauty. Beauty might get hit by a critical hit, and I will not be happy about that, so we're gonna switch into Molly. I didn't buy more Pokeballs, did I? Nope, I didn't. So now, how many Pokeballs do I have? Oh no, I did buy more Pokeballs, I did. So let's just throw a Pokeball at this thing, because, let's be honest, it's getting caught. Lillipuff, level four, male. It faces strong opponents with great courage, but when at a disadvantage in a fight, this intelligent Pokemon flees. So you run away when you're scared. It's not because you're intelligent, you're afraid. We're gonna call you, but it said you're brave. I'm gonna call you Aslan. Because you're not really a lion, but you come pretty close. You're just a giant dog. I don't know why I'm calling you Aslan, but your name is Aslan. And you are our third team member. So what we're going to do is I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center. Uh, and we're back. So let's battle some trainers. Well, she doesn't want to battle. Look at that strength stone. Holy crap, it's huge. Another Lillipop. All right, I'm getting a little scared about this randomizer now, guys. I'm going to run away. I got away safely, thankfully. Um. Oh, there we go. A spirit tomb. I didn't want that. I didn't want a spirit tomb. I really didn't. It's fine. It's fine, game. It really is fine. But I'm going to battle this freak. And see what's going down with him. He's got a Sigaglyph. I'm scared out of my mind right now. A level 7? Holy crap, Molly. Get your butt in here. Because I thought... Oh, yeah, that's what we need. We need Hypnosis. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, I should just use Taunt. So you can't put anything... Oh, my gosh. Crap, he has Gust. All right, Miracle Eye, I don't really know. It just, it makes it so that ghost Pokemon can get hit. Don't you dare crit me. Don't you dare crit. All right, now we got to use a potion. This is going to be annoying. This is going to be an annoying battle. I can already tell you right now. Because what's going to happen? He's going to use Gust again. He got a crit. Oh my gosh. That's, I told you it's going to be an annoying battle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you stop? Can you stop? If I lose Molly, I will cry my eyes out. I really will. Um, all right, let's use Ember once. Since maybe I can get a burn. But I don't really want to burn because I think this guy... Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, my gosh. This is such an annoying battle. This is such an annoying first battle. Why? Why? And by first battle, you know what I mean. And not rival battle. Not... And... I don't think I can... I don't think I'll ever be able to do anything. Don't you dare use hypnosis. All right, you avoided it. Thank goodness, Molly. Oh, I was honestly terrified right there. At least Beauty's gonna grow like three levels. Beauty grew to level five. Your Beauty grew four levels. That's fantastic. Um, actually have to run back again. Let's see. You're gonna tell me I can jump over this ledge, right? Whoa, jump over the ledge. All right, let's run back to the Pokemon Center. I'm not gonna edit it out this time because it really didn't take that long. Especially when you got perfect accuracy like that. You run right into the door. Yeah, man. We are drawing to the close of this episode. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of training post-episode, so maybe I will end this episode pretty soon so that it won't go too far over 20 minutes. Um, so let's run away, and let's battle this trainer right here. Do you want to battle me? No. You don't want to battle me. Why not? Do you want to battle me? You want to battle me? Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. All right, some chick. Last Mally sent out Reggie Steel. Holy crap, that is perfect. We are going to use Ember. We should use... Confuse right first, but let's just. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Oh, you know you're dead, beauty. You know you're dead. You're not living that. You're not living explosion. Oh my gosh. No, I don't even want to watch. Oh, <gasps> beauty! Holy crap, beauty. You are my favorite. 3 HP you live that with. Are you serious? Holy crap. All right, guys, we're going to end that episode right there because that was freaking amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you leave this video a like rating. If you want to be a shady person, make sure you just hit the subscribe button in this video on this layout. Just click it at right there. Um, leave me a comment below if you want to be nicknamed after a certain type of Pokemon. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady. Please stay tuned for training montage if you'd like to see it.